Hello and welcome back to another exciting video of ExploBio with Dr. Abhishek. Statistics is something that most of us neither find comfortable to perform nor easy to learn. In this video, in very simple way, we will learn quickly about basic statistical analysis which includes mean, median, mode, range, variance and standard deviation, how they are calculated and most importantly why such analysis are performed in first place. In my next video, I will also show you how you can use AI tool for performing statistical analysis easily even without prior knowledge about the formula or the programming skills. First, it is important to know why and when we need to perform such statistical analysis. When we have large data set, we generally do random sampling to get precise information about the overall population by measuring the central tendencies represented as mean, median and more. And the variation or the spread of collected data is measured by calculating range, variance and standard deviation. We will learn about each of these in detail. Suppose we have a large population and sample 15 plants of two varieties of tomatoes namely cherry and roma and measure the crop yield in terms of kg weight per plant. In this video I will show you how to perform each of these analysis manually in excel so that you can understand the calculation part. And in the next video that I am going to upload very soon, I will show you how you can perform all these analysis quickly using AI. The first measure is mean. Mean is the average value of the data set. It is represented by mu if you are analyzing the entire population or x bar if you are analyzing a few samples or a subset of population. In our case, we have sampled a few individuals from entire population. So mean will be represented by x bar. We will calculate mean for both the varieties individually. For this, you simply have to add all the values and divide it by the number of samples, which is 15 in our case. So for cherry tomato, it is 17.2 and similarly for Roma variety, it is 25.73. You can pause the video to have a look at it or watch it again if you want to understand it better. The next measure of central tendencies is median. Median is the middle value when whole data is arranged in ascending or descending order. If the dataset number are odd, the middle value is median. But if the dataset is even, the median will be the average of middle two values. In our case, the dataset is 15 which is odd. So the middle value will be the median which is 17 for cherry tomato and 26 for Roma variety. The next measure is mode. It is the most frequently occurring value in the dataset. If there are multiple values having highest frequency of occurrence, then the mode will be all those values. In case of cherry tomato, mode is 15 and 17, as frequency of occurrence of both are maximum. And similarly for Roma variety, the mode is 25 and 26, as both have highest frequencies. This is how we measure central tendencies. Now let's see how to measure dispersion of data. To estimate the spread or dispersion of data with respect to the central value, we may use range, variance or standard deviation. This helps us to identify how the data vary compared to the central values. The first measure of dispersion of data is range. Range is the easiest and simplest measure of dispersion of data. It is the difference of the highest and the lowest value. In case of cherry tomato, the range is 6 kg per plant. And in case of Roma variety, it is 5 kg per plant when we subtract the lowest value from the highest value. But sometimes, if one or more values are significantly distorted or at the extreme outliers, then the range is not a reliable measure. In such case, the next two measures will be very useful in providing more accurate measure of dispersion of data. Variance and standard deviation consider all the data points and their distance from the mean value, therefore are less susceptible to the outliers. Variance is the statistical measure of how data points deviate from the mean. It is denoted by S square for sample variance or sigma square for entire population. For calculating variance, mean is subtracted from the individual values as shown here. All these values are then squared and then summed together. This calculation can easily be performed in Excel. The obtained value is then divided by total number of data points minus 1, which will be 14 in our case. So for cherry tomato, the sample variance is 3.31. And similarly for Roma variety, the variance is calculated to be 2.35. Higher variance means higher deviation from mean value or data point. If the variance is zero, it means all the values are identical. For population variance, when all the individuals are analyzed, the formula is slightly different as shown here. 
A more natural and commonly used statistical measure is standard deviation. It is obtained by taking a square root of variance. Thus, standard deviation will have the same unit as the original data, unlike variance, which is a squared value. Comparing cherry tomato and Roma tomatoes, we found Roma tomatoes show lesser standard deviation compared to cherry tomatoes. I hope this video has helped you in understanding the concept of central tendencies and dispersion of data. If you find this video useful, do share it with others. In my next video, I will explain how you can use AI tool for performing such a statistical analysis quickly and easily. I am planning to make more videos on such a statistical analysis. Check out my other videos on AI tools, research and publishing and lot more. And subscribe to stay connected for more such interesting stuff.